My name is Jody Solberg. I'm a mental wellness professional. I'm a licensed and certified master hypnotherapist, and I'm also a success coach. And today we are going to be talking all about why traditional affirmations don't work and what you can do instead. So let's really chat about affirmations. Hey, we want to get your subconscious mind on board to make positive changes. And so many times our powerful subconscious mind will block us based on traditional affirmations. And so how can we do that? Right? How can we get our subconscious mind on board to make those positive changes effectively? So we're going to dive into why those traditional affirmations don't always get the desired results. And we're also going to discover some more effective ways to align our subconscious with our goals. Our subconscious mind is a powerhouse of beliefs, emotions, and memories that play really significant roles in shaping things like our thoughts, our actions, and our outcomes. It's like the autopilot in our mind. And it helps to drive our decisions and our behavior often without us being consciously aware of it. And there can be motivations behind the scenes that you don't even realize. And so in order to achieve lasting change, it's really essential to get our subconscious on board with that. So I know that many of us have tried using positive affirmations. So you may have heard that you needed to create an affirmation that said, that you have already arrived, right? Act as if you're already there. And then when you've tried to use those kinds of affirmations, you've had little or no success with it. So why is that? Well, traditional affirmations can sometimes backfire because they're not in alignment with our existing beliefs and our subconscious then rejects them. Is anything that is against your core beliefs, your subconscious will block you from and say, no, that's not true. I don't believe that. You're telling me a lie. I'm not going to participate. And so if we don't truly believe in the affirmation, your subconscious resists it or blocks it. And it leads to feelings of dissonance. And so affirmations that only focus on the end result and acting as if you're already there may neglect the importance of the process itself, which makes it really hard to commit to the actions. You're only focusing on the end, not on the process in between that you need to get there. Okay, so let's take a moment to understand that science behind our subconscious mind and how neuroplasticity works. So neuroplasticity is your brain's ability to organize itself or reorganize itself. And so it enables us to create new neural pathways by repetitively engaging in thoughts and behaviors that are in alignment with the change you wanna make, right? These new behaviors, new thoughts, create new pathways to get to where you want to go. And so by leveraging our brain's unique ability to do that, we can shape our subconscious and get it on board to creating that new path and choosing that new path over and over again to create that new habit. Whether that's a thought pattern, behavioral habit, whatever it is that you're wanting to work on. So let's look at how we can reframe those affirmations to make them more effective in engaging our subconscious mind by adding in the process. So first, we need to identify what your core beliefs are. So you wanna reflect on your core beliefs about yourself, about success, about the world around you, whatever that specific area is that you wanna improve. So if you're wanting to change a certain kind of habit, we need to look at what those core beliefs are that are shaping your behaviors and your habits. So you wanna be really honest with yourself and do reflection about any limiting beliefs that might hold you back. So you need to look at things like your self-talk, 
your self-talk is going to reflect your beliefs. So those underlying beliefs are going to then create thoughts, which then create our emotions, which then result in our behaviors. So we need to look at what are those beliefs that are holding you back? What are those things that are limiting you and keeping you from reaching those goals? So what are your limiting beliefs? You know, if somebody is wanting to, let's say, make more money in their business, they may have a core belief that you have to work really hard in order to make money. And some of them may have some negative self-talk around that and around themselves and their business. And it, they will start pushing themselves to the point of burning out. And it's this vicious cycle where they're not creating the habits, and the behaviors because of that core belief. Right? They're not creating behaviors that are allowing them to be open to abundance and prosperity and to make more without working harder. There's only so many hours in the day. And there's only so much energy that you have. And so if a belief like that isn't serving and supporting you, it's time to really look at you know, what is that core belief and how can we shift that? You can shift that through resetting with some more supportive affirmations. Earlier today, I was working with a client around chronic pain and they had some you know, core beliefs that were holding them back from being able to feel better. Okay, there's maybe around things like emotional eating or a number of other kinds of habits. It really works the same way, no matter what it is you're wanting to work on. So we're wanting to identify what those core beliefs are about yourself, your situation, the world around you, whatever it is you're wanting to work on. We're gonna identify the limiting beliefs that are holding you back from getting where you wanna go. And then second step is going to be to create more empowering affirmations that your subconscious can get on board with. And so we wanna create affirmations that are in alignment with your core values, with what is most important to you, instead of focusing solely on the outcome of, let's say, having a seven-figure business. You know, maybe that old affirmation that wasn't ringing true for you was, you know, I have a million dollar business when you have a thousand dollars or less in your bank account. And so your subconscious mind, when you're just focused on that end goal of having a seven figure business, says, liar, that's not true. I know how much is in your bank account and it's not a million dollars or more. So we want to look at what can be more empowering for us in crafting that affirmation. And we want to align that, yes, with your goals, also with your core values and an empowering belief around making money in business, for example. So again, instead of fo focusing solely on that outcome, we're going to emphasize the journey. We're going to have a growth mindset. So we're going to look at the process the effort, the growth. And so you can say something instead of, you know, I am a million dollar business owner. You can say, I am in the process of becoming a million dollar business owner, or I'm learning how to build my business. I'm working towards building my business something like that. So I'm working towards building my business to seven figures by helping other people do what? What is it you help people with, right? What is it that you have as a service or what are you selling? And so you can add some personalization in there, but it's an I am affirming and empowering statement.